ICM325, ICM450. Unfortunately, that ICM450 we installed the other day turned out to be defective. And a couple shops, uh, warehouses didn't have them. And the one I got this from says two days to reorder. I called up ICM, they just said turn it back and exchange it. I sent them a video of what defect was happening. It's like there's a broken solder joint on the circuit board. When you press the case in certain areas, the whole unit shuts down and it shuts your unit down. Simple fix, just replace, but it's wasted time. Just the time to go exchange this and pull one back. There goes $200 just in drive time, you know, even though it's 15 minutes away. And, uh, but this one has an alarm on it that I'm gonna utilize. And what I'm going to do is down here the unit is right up here and I'm gonna bring somewhere I'm gonna bring the wiring down and I'm gonna install a little panel and I'm gonna have a light on it like a bright red light and a little beeping siren an annoying beeping siren and if there's ever a trip uh, that trips and shuts off for a fault using the ICM it will give an audible and visual alarm to everybody in this building that their unit shut down because sometimes this is on a crucial grow they don't know for hours until it's too late sometimes overnight so i will make a very loud alarm with the light directly tied to their unit with uh the 450 and give them some sort of notification every time their unit because they're using a residential unit well, it's not residential, it's three-phase, but it's a fake residential pretending to be commercial. And that's what's up here right now because that's what there was and that's the system that was put in. I didn't put it in, I just replaced the unit that was up there. Uh, I took out the piece of shit, a little 25 cent capacitor they had out of there. And um, yeah, I released some videos on this unit and I did, did some a little bit of rewiring. I'm fixing up the old electrician, some of his wiring. And I gotta go right now. Alright, see you guys later.